Welcome everyone to Jimmy Basket Butler Day in the city of Philadelphia right here on the Sports Skiller Radio Show. I am Jay and I'm giving you my live reaction to the Jimmy Baskets Butler press conference. Again, you don't want to make too much of it uh, because with all these press conferences, nobody's really going to be that critical of the incoming player, especially if that incoming player is a super athlete, a super player that you're going to be paying a ton of money to down the line, a mega star. So everything is going to be all nicey nicey doors, uh, during these introductory press conferences, but you try to parse some things out of it. You try to ask the management and the athletes some questions and try to parse some things out of, out of it as to how things are going to go in the future. But basically, these press conferences are all nicey-nicey as you get to know the incoming player, and you can ask management and ownership some questions. So we'll go ahead and try to parse some things out of it. Um, if you've been living under a rock all these many days since Saturday at 1 p.m., uh, the Sixers get Jimmy guard Jimmy Baskets Butler and forward Justin Patton. The Timberwolves get forward Robert Covington, forward Dario Saric, guard Jared Bayless, and a 2022 second round draft pick. My reaction to the trade. Fabulous. Awesome job by Sixers ownership. Sixers GM Elton Brand. Awesome job. Love getting Jimmy Baskets Butler and Justin Patton. Love the trade. Absolutely great job. And the Sixers also retained that amazing 2022 first round draft pick which could turn into something they could either use it in a trade to get more draft picks down the road they could either make the selection because we all know Miami is going to be trash by that time so not having to give away that first round draft pick amazing job by Elton Brand holding on to it because it's like gold right now Teams are going to want it as we get closer to the draft. The Sixers could mortgage it for another star player or a young uh, rookie that's going to be coming into the league. Great job. Um, as for Sixers managing owner Josh Harris, he came out and he said, in his opinion, he now has three of the top 20 players in the NBA on the team a super three couldn't agree with him more i you know i do think that now with the addition of jimmy butler they do have three of the top 20 players in the nba if you want to let me know if i'm wrong if i'm right let me know in the comment section um as far as GM Elton Brand, he came out with a great quote. He said that uh, he and the Minnesota Timberwolves had a joke. This is Elton with our daily call, you know, because he would call up every day. Um, I think this shows that GM Elton Brand was all over Jimmy Butler like sauce on ribs. He wasn't going to let go of this. He was going to remain in contact with the Minnesota Timberwolves. And that made the deal easier to go through because if anything changed daily, if anything got updated, if the Minnesota Timberwolves were coming off their draft picks, they kept in constant negotiation. Love that about Elton Brand. They targeted a player and they got him. That's important. When you target a player, you stay on that player. You call the management. That makes the player know that he's wanted by the incoming organization. And you stay on that other organization if he's if you're making a trade you stay on him and you hound him and it's like they say the squeaky wheel gets the grease and the eagles got their man in jimmy butler so i love that about elton brand he stayed on him like sauce on ribs didn't let him go and he got his man love that um as far as Elton Brand commenting on the Sixers team, he said, uh, we have a really unselfish group of guys who are going to make the extra pass. Offense is going to be the easy part of it. Love that. So he's already coming out and saying, you know what? 
We're going to score points. We're going to pass the ball. We're going to get people involved. Not worried at all about the offense. He's going to try and work himself in seamlessly to the team. Love that. Also, uh, he was asked about people calling Embiid, Ben Simmons, and himself, Jimmy Basket Butler, the big three. He likes the sound of it. It sounds really good. Now we have to go out there and make some things happen. So he's already embracing the role as a big three, as a target for other teams' defenders, and, uh, and the fact that he's going to be in the limelight in Philadelphia and nationally. He's embracing it. He's taking it to heart. Love that. Uh, as far as what his goals are on the Sixers, he said, and, the, and you guys are going to love this if you're a Sixer fan, that trophy, getting the ring, all I ever wanted to do is win. I have a new opportunity here. That's the goal. That will always be the goal. It's above anything and everything. So right there, you know he has a target. You know what he's targeting. He's talking in a ring. He's talking a goal to be an NBA championship. And uh, you're like, well, what about the money? You know, isn't money a part of it? He answered that question. My family is set for the rest of my life. I'm not about the money. I got to be able to love where I'm at and have a great chance of winning a championship. You know, again, bringing up championship, bringing up that mindset that he's going to come in and instill in these young guys, in everybody on the team, winning the championship and the goal. Let's go for it. Uh, so money is not going to be a problem. Again, people are worried about re-signing him in the summer. If he comes in and everything works the way he's describing it to work, I don't think that's going to be the problem. Sixers will have the money to re-sign him, so it'll be up to whether or not he wants to stay on the Sixers. And by everything he's saying at the press conference so far, hey, he's going to uh, probably re-sign. Um, as far as the city of Philadelphia, he says, I think the city is going to be absolutely amazing. You got to love it. Again, he's embracing the city. Um, as far as the fans go, uh, they like people who grind, that work hard. That's what I built my basketball talent off of. I love to work. I love to grind. It doesn't change now. If anything, it means I take it up a notch. That means it's going to be grinding harder, working harder to get that championship to the Philadelphia 76ers. I know the city loves that. So again, he's grinding it. He's going to be a blue-collar guy. He's going to try and work in seamlessly. Um, what is his impression of the 76ers? He did say he watched the Sixers uh, Monday night as they played. Uh, he likes just how they play. Uh, and, of course, Joe on social media is a special work of art. So, again, the social media thing, embracing Joel Embiid. You know he's going to be fun. He and Joel Embiid are going to be fun on social media. Again, another thing to like about Jimmy Baskets Butler. Um... He also said uh, regarding the Sixers offense, it's going to be different. And he also admitted he's not going to have the ball as much as he's had previously um, in Minnesota, but thinks he can thrive anyway. You know, it's about finding the open guy and sinking baskets is what he said. Um, and I know everybody's working about And this has been the narrative since Jimmy Butler... Uh, got traded to the Sixers is the locker room thing, is his attitude. And he addressed that in the press conference. He addressed it and he said, Every, unless everybody in my past locker room was just fake, I don't think I was that big of a problem at all. So again, he's saying that, again, teammates will love him. He can come in and uh, he's not going to be a problem in the locker room that teammates embraced him. And again, he, this was addressed a couple of times during the press conference. Uh, teammates like him. He pushes teammates. That's going to happen on the court, you know, and that's where the issues may erupt. But 
I don't see that being a problem. If you're pushing guys, if you're pushing Embiid to get better, if you're pushing Ben Simmons to get better, if you're pushing Markel Fultz to get better, that's a good thing because they, he wants to win a championship. That's his goal, and that's what he does. He grinds it. He pushes his teammates to get better, and Philadelphia is going to love that. And uh, now here's the other thing. Sixers have an open spot on their roster, and GM Eldon Brand was asked about this. And again, Philadelphia Sixers fans, you are going to love this. Why? Because Elton Brand said the Sixers can do still do some damage with that last roster spot. And he's going to take his time and not rush into anything. Again, looking around the league, not going to rush into anything. Uh, so he's going to see what's out there. It may it may be a month from now before they address that 15th roster spot. I think it's probably going to be sooner rather than later. But he's going to look around the league. He's going to make the best deal possible. And they're going to be in the best person for that 15th roster spot. And I love he's not just making a rash decision or a hasty decision to bring in somebody that the fans want. That he's taking his time. Being patient, letting things play out. And that's what happened with the Philadelphia Sixers getting Jimmy Butler. They went after some, they inquired about players in this in the summer. They didn't sign anything. And it's like I said on the show, take your time, make the best deal possible. If it happens this summer, that's great. If it happens over the spring or the uh, the fall or the winter, that's great. If it takes to the trading deadline, if it is next summer, I said just take your time and get the best star possible to push the Sixers over the edge. Maybe they still need a player or two, but I love the fact that they're being patient and they're making the best deal possible. Um, now, so they're going to make, do some damage with that uh, 15th player. And finally, uh, Jimmy Butler talked a little bit about Markel Fultz because we're all looking at how we're, uh, who's going to be in the starting lineup. I think it's more crucial, not necessarily the starting lineup, but who finishes the game. Who's on the court the last minute, two minutes of the game, three minutes of the game, when it's coming down to the wire. I think that's the most important thing but again people like to start and whatever so um you know what you know he was asked about Markel Fultz and he addressed Markel Fultz he said he's a talented young player from what I can tell a lot of it is mental I know how hard he works in this league 90 percent of it is mental if you think you can do something, you can. So again, he's not saying anything bad about Markel Fultz. He's saying, you know, he's saying a lot of it. Maybe Markel Fultz is mental. So again, I I think he'll push Markel Fultz mentally to become a better player, and that could only make the Sixers a better team. And they also threw in some uh, little tidbits about him personally. What do you like to enjoy? You know, tell us a little bit something about yourself that maybe people would know. Um, so, you know, off the court stuff. So he described himself just a couple of things, uh, not too much. He said he likes to play dominoes. He likes to play cards. He loves country music. So any country music fans out there, hey, you know, you know that uh, Jimmy Basket Butler is going to be a fan. And he also drives a minivan. So he said if you see him out in the Philadelphia area, you know, in Jersey somewhere, you know, out driving around, and you think, hey, that looks like Jimmy Butler, but he's driving a minivan. No, that's going to be Jimmy Butler. He's going to be driving around in his minivan. So blasting country music. So, you know, that was pretty fun. Some extra information about uh, Jimmy Butler to kind of close things out. But exciting day here in uh, the Philadelphia area. Jimmy Baskets Butler was introduced along with uh, forward Justin Patton. Justin Patton's going to still be rehabbing. He said that during the press conference. So he's going to try and get back as soon as he can. But he's going to take his time, rehab, get back to 100%. And then we'll see... Uh, 
Jimmy Patton on the uh, Jason Pat Justin Patton. I'm sorry, Justin Patton on the court, and uh, we'll see where he fits in uh, to the Sixers. Uh, hierarchy here or how many minutes he gets per game but for now Justin Patton is going to be off rehabbing getting to 100 percent and then the Sixers will make a decision on how they're going to get him into the lineup and how many minutes he plays but as I said positive day here in Philadelphia everybody is kind of happier than they were yesterday when we had to digest that that ugly Eagles loss to the Cowboys some positivity today I like it. We want to hear what you have to say. Tweet us, Facebook us, find us on YouTube, find us on Instagram. We want to hear what you have to say about the Jimmy Butler trade. Do you like it? Are you concerned? Do you think he's going to be a problem in the locker room or on the court? Or are you just thrilled like everybody else is right now in Philadelphia to be welcoming Jimmy Baskets Butler to the Philadelphia 76ers? Let us know. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, we want to hear from you. Tell us about the trade. Like it, hate it, concerns, let us know.